dear students welcome to tset classes welcome to the series on tspsc group 1 mains as part of the tspsc group 1 series we have started governance and public policy paper which is part of your paper 3 of group 1 mains syllabus as part of this governance and public policy in the last class we have discussed few important questions and let us continue the governance and public policy and see the other questions linked to this particular topic. So, let us see the questions. Let us see the questions. Look at this question. What are the what are the consumer protection mechanisms available in India? Explain with the help of legal provisions. See, if you look at this question, this question is most expected for our exam, point number 1. The second point is, this question is directly linked to your syllabus. Where in syllabus? If you look at this, if you look at this, the chapter 5, you have something called, see, consumer protection mechanisms in India. So, what are these consumer protection mechanisms in India we have? So, let us see the consumer protection mechanisms and also legal provisions associated with the consumer protection mechanism. If you look at this consumer protection mechanisms and the legal provisions, this is a very important and also the interesting concept. This is very important and interesting concept. The reason is consumer. Consumer is a part of both public and private organization. Consumer avail the services given by government. Consumer avail the services given by the government and private sectors, so both the sectors. So, here the last user is called the consumer. So, what are we going to see in this particular question? What is that we have to see in this? First, we need to mention who is a consumer, definition of the consumer. Then, with respect to consumer in India, what are these their rights? What are their rights with respect to consumers in India? Three, what are the salient features of the Consumer Protection Act 2019? See, there was 1986 Act before, but now we have 2019 Act. So, what is the salient features of this particular Act? Now, let us see. What is the definition of the consumer? What is the definition of consumer? A consumer, a consumer, a consumer is a person, a consumer is a person who avails the, who avails the services and, who avails the services and goods as well as goods and services, who avails the goods and services and, uh, and which benefits himself or his family. To simply put it, consumer is a person who avails the goods and services for himself or which benefits his family. This is the definition of consumer. A consumer is a person who avails the goods and services for himself or which benefits his family. A consumer is a end user, is an end user end user of goods and services, goods and services. Especially when it comes to the government part, it is a services. Now, what is the meaning of this services? TSAT is a medium for the government to provide services to you. So, you are a consumer with respect to TSAT and TSAT provides you certain services. Now, what is the services? The knowledge or the subject oriented services. What are the rights of the consumers in India? Then let us see the what are the rights of the consumers in India. What are the rights of the consumers? We have something called Consumer Protection Act 2019. We have something called Consumer Protection Act of 2019. This Consumer Protection Act 2019 came into force on 
August 9, 2019, replacing the old act called 1986 act. Consumer Protection Act of 1986 was replaced by the new Consumer Protection Act of 2019. Sir, what is the difference? You have to understand this. 1986-2019, what are the changes? See, e-commerce is the biggest change. Artificial intelligence is the biggest change. Consumer satisfaction is the biggest change. Alternatives is the biggest change. Competition has increased, a biggest change. Now, previously, if you need any service or goods, we need to go to the shop. We need to go and get the services done. But now, services at the doorsteps, the concept of service at your doorsteps. Government is also providing services to you at your doorsteps. You have Zepto, you have Zomato, you have uh, you know uh, Dunzo, you have Swiggy, you have services, uh, many services, uh, Urban Clap, all these services at your doorsteps. So the reason Consumer Protection Act 2019 is a need of our. The 1986 Act which provided the then contemporary things to the consumer and now 2019 as you know, diversified. It has increased the uh, protections to the consumers. So, what are the rights of the consumers? As per Consumer Protection Act, the first important right we have, the first important right we have is right to information, right to information. See, what is the meaning of this right to information? If you wish to buy any good and services, if you wish to buy any good and services, Every consumer should be given the information related to that particular good, quality, quantity, ingredients, essential things, expiry date, manufacture date, manufactured address, the MRP, the uh, you know FSSI code. This information is very very important. Information related to quality, quantity. You have purity, potency, the price, the standards, the details of manufacturers, details of manufacturers, all these information should be provided as part of the goods and services we take. So, the first right of the consumer is a right to information. Now, the second right of the consumer, what is the second right of the consumer? The second right of the consumer is a right to be protected from hazardous goods and services. Right to be protected from hazardous goods and services. What is the meaning of this? See, whenever we, we take any products, few products, there is a warning written over that product which says that these products should not be given to so and so age people. This product cannot be consumed. This product should be kept in cool place. All these are to protect us from any hazardous goods and services. Especially at the time of Deepavali, we have crackers. It specifically mentioned that this is hazardous project or goods and services. Not only that, when we take the medicines, few medicines are very, very, very delicate. And these medicines cannot be given to few people and so that it is written in that particular goods and services. So, the next right of the consumer is a right to be protected from hazardous goods and services. What is the third right? The third right is right to choose. Very, very important. Ma. Right to choose. See, right to choose depends upon the alternatives. Right to choose depends upon the alternatives. See, right to choose is very, very important. Why? Because we can't compromise on the goods and services we have. We shall not compromise. We cannot compromise. That is a point. So, the reason we should have right to choose. Competition Commission of India, Competition Commission of India ensures there is a fair trade practices in India. Competition Commission of India established in 2002 ensures a fair trade practices in India. Because of the right to choose, what we get sir? We get the efficient, qualitative, quantitative, uh, competitive price goods and services. 
more people in the market more efficient so alternatives is one thing which is very very important the third right of the consumer is a right to choose you have right to choose you can't be monopoly you cannot be you cannot be monopoly you cannot be monopoly you cannot have monopoly you cannot have monopoly over certain things you cannot have monopoly over certain things this is a third right we have what is the next right of the consumer let us see the next right of the consumer the fourth right of the consumer is very important right to be heard now what is the meaning of right to be heard see whenever you take any goods and services out or back side of that goods and services there is a information mentioned saying that for any suggestions please write to us at this particular email id if you wish to give any suggestions if you wish wish to improve the goods and uh, services of the of the uh, product there should be some way that the consumer shall reach the manufacturer and provide his suggestions provide his suggestions provide his suggestions this is very very important again the fifth right right to or right to be protected from unfair trade practices right to be protected from unfair trade practices trade practices right to be protected from unfair trade practices it is a duty of the government to look over the unfair trade practices in india with respect to any goods and services this is very very important right to be protected from unfair trade practices no monopoly again i am coming to the same point no monopoly should be entertained the sixth right the sixth right of the consumer is right to red drizzle right to red drizzle the sixth right of the uh, consumer is right to red drizzle is grievances is grievances so all the rights uh, if there is any problem with respect to any goods or services of a consumer there should be a mechanism where the consumer can go and get his rights done get is a problem solved get the red drizzle of the grievances done consumer protection courts consumer courts in india are booming with the help of the 2019 consumer protection act consumer redressal mechanisms are becoming very very easy how we can directly raise our raise a complaint through online portal e portal we can raise the uh, uh, complaint through website and it will be solved very fast so these are the rights provided to consumers as part of the consumer protection act the new act 2019 now let us see the features what are the features of consumer protection act 2019 this is the expected question this is the expected question so please be careful and understand all the features of the consumer protection act of 2019 the first feature the first feature of the consumer protection act 2019 is this act this act this act provides to establish to establish a consumer protection authority authority this is called a consumer protection authority very very important for the exam now what is the role of this consumer protection authority what is the role of this consumer protection authority what is the main role main role to be performed by this consumer protection authority the main role of the consumer protection authority to ensure to protect to protect the interest of consumers how to protect the interest of the consumers right to promote to enforce the rights of the consumer by enforcing and promoting the rights of the consumer 
it protect the interest of the consumers it protect the interest of the consumers by promoting and enforcing this the rights what are the rights we have discussed these are the six rights all the six rights are enforced by consumer protection authority b what is a next role the b it has it has a right to it has right to take see very very important one sumoto action against any consumer protection problems it has all the rights to very very important recall the product recall the product it has a rights to recall the product it can recall the product see when any there is a damaged good they, when there is any problem with related to any goods it has a right to recall the product the third one is it can order it can order for reimbursement it can order for reimbursement see whenever there is any good which is not which is actually not proper and it can not only ask the manufacturer to recall it but also it can make sure it can provide the manufacturer to reimburse the amount to reimburse the consideration to reimburse the consideration so reimbursement it can also order the reimbursement the role of the consumer protection authority the next one is it can cancel the license so very very important it has all the powers to cancel the license of the manufacturer see the role of the consumer protection authority which is a institution it has the right to protect the interest of the consumer by promoting and enforcing the rights it has all the right to take actions sumoto actions so what is the meaning of sumoto self self actions it has all the rights to recall the product it can order reimbursement it can cancel the license not only that what can consumer protection act do it can impose penalties it can impose penalties very very important if any manufacturer is repeating the uh, problem if is repeating the same mistake it can also impose penalties finally one of the most important right of this consumer protection authority is on behalf of the consumers it can file a suit it can file a suit in the court it can file a case on behalf of the consumer it can file a case so the first feature of the consumer protection act 2019 is the act provides for the establishment of consumer protection authority cpa the cpa has all the rights of the civil court it can impose penalties it can order reimbursement it can recall the product see 2019 consumer protection act always believe in one theme and objective what is that consumer first whenever i say consumer first consumer satisfaction must we see amazon and flipkart we order many products from amazon and flipkart and amazon and flipkart are not reluctant to reimburse they are not reluctant to exchange why because of consumer protection authority someone is watching them to ensure consumer rights are protected so thanks to consumer protection act of 2019 what is the next salient feature the next salient feature is this act provides this act provides for establishment of consumer dispute consumer disputes redressal commission this act provides for the establishment of consumer disputes consumer disputes consumer disputes redressal commission redressal commission at a three important levels at a three important levels that is your national level your state level and district level why the main purpose of this consumer dispute redressal mechanism is to take the complaints to take complaints to take the complaints from the consumers to take the complaints of the consumers what type of the complaints they take the complaints of overcharging overcharging 
see some people charge more than MRP. When, the, when there is any product which is charged more than MRP, you can approach a consumer dispute redressal mechanism or commission. This particular institution ensures that your complaint is taken and they register and they uh, look after the case. The next one is they also take the complaints with regards to unfair trade practices. They also take the complaints with regards to unfair trade practices. They also take the uh, disputes with respect to uh, azadius, sale of azadius goods, sale of azadius goods, sale of azadius goods. Whenever there is any sale of the azadius goods, they take the complaints with respect to sale of the azadius goods. They see that all the regulations are followed well in manner. They ensure that the azadius goods mention that this is dangerous. The information is protected given in the goods. All the consumer, see consumer interest is the utmost uh, priority. That is what they take into uh, consideration. So, what are the complaints this commission can take? One, overcharging, two, unfair trade practices, sale of azadius goods. The fourth one is it also can take the complaints related to the sale of defective goods, defective goods and services defective goods and services right so whenever any consumer wish to raise a complaint they can raise and is there any fee yes so if your complaint is up to 5 lakhs up to 5 lakhs then there is no fees no fees up to 5 lakhs above 5 lakhs minimum fee will be there this is the third protection available to the consumer the third uh, second protection, the third protection now. The third salient feature, the third feature of the Consumer Protection Act 2019 is e-filing, e-filing, e-filing of complaints, e-filing of complaints. See, Consumer Protection Act 2019 made sure that there is a e-filing of the complaints. Whenever any consumer can go to the website and file the complaints, that ensures that there is no need of attorney, there is no need of advocate, there is no need of attorney or advocate, there is e-filing of complaint. This is the biggest change with the help of Consumer Protection Act of 2019. What is the next feature? Let us see the next feature. What is the next feature we have? The fourth feature, now very, very important. See, whenever the manufacturer is producing hazardous goods or defective goods or whenever there is a product reimbursement, whenever product recalling, someone has to take the liability, someone has to take the liability, right? This act of 2019 provides for product liability, product liability and also penal consequences, product liability and penal consequences. Now, the point is who is liable? Is it the seller? Is it the distributor? Is it the manufacturer? Who is liable? Is the manufacturer liable? Is a distributor liable? Is a wholesaler liable? Or is it the retailer, the seller, easy liable? The beauty of this act is, it makes everyone liable. According to this Consumer Protection Act of 2019, manufacturers, manufacturers, service providers and also the product sellers, all are made liable under this act. Anyone if there is any wrong with respect to any person, he is liable to pay the fine. There is no other way to escape. Service providers, we can say the distributors, the retail, uh, the wholesalers, the wholesalers. So, this is the fourth feature of the Consumer Protection Act of 2019. Product liability and penal consequences is a unique thing of this act. Because for the first time it is making, for the first time it is making product seller liable. See, product seller may be 
online sellers also like your amazon flipkart right you have big basket big basket so zepto right dunzo uh, ago so all these online product sellers are also liable under this consumer protection act of 2019 let me summarize this for you consumer protection act of 2019 provides certain protections to the consumer right to be heard right to information uh, right to ensure that there is a fair trade practices no unfair trade practices and right to redressal etc the next one is there are such salient features consumer protection mechanism is there authority is there redressal commission is there at national level state level and also your district level as well as we have something called e filing of the consumer cases e filing is very very important so e filing the salient features the salient features so this is very very important so these are the features of the consumer protection act of 2019 and also the protections available to consumer this is the expected question for your tspsc mains examination so i'll see you guys with another set of questions with related to governance and policy till then happy learning keep learning jai hind